That's the reason for them What about the parking? If you put a business or something in there, you've got to have parking. And there's only like 11 or 12 slots for cars there. Has, any, has this been addressed? I mean, you've got to have parking if you're going to have a business. And what we're seeing right now is the street is so narrow that if you have a, a dually truck sitting there, you can't get by it. Mm -hmm. So that's something that needs to be addressed before you all decide what you're going to do with the building. Then one more thing and I'm going to let you know. What I don't understand is, is all this low loan numbers. This one sounds like an FBA, Small Business Authority. I've got a loan to them, same rate. All I have to do is go down there and say, hey, I need money, fill out the form, and I got my money. Now, is there any difference between the FBA and what you're telling them? It's, it's, it's a similar structure. The uh, loan structure that, that these low interest programs utilize is, is similar to the SBA uh, in that we use a 50 40 10 structure normally with, with bank participation at 50% low interest loans at 40%, developer or owner equity at 10%. Um, they, they are similar. But um, these, these loans are are solely for downtown revitalization projects, whereas SP loans can be used for other things. This is for, right? This is for a business yes. type of stuff? Well, I mean, isn't that the same thing? I mean, I don't understand. You're telling me one thing, and then you got to have a committee and got to do all this. When if you're a business and you want to go get a loan, you go to FBA, and it's the same thing. You don't have to go through all this. I don't understand. I mean, I don't, I have a problem understanding why you would do all this with with facilities already in set up, ready to go. All you got to do is go down that. I'll, I'll give you an example of a of another <laughs> a grant. I have just retired. Now you're talking grant now. Right. Now we're talking. See, I'm talking about you come. All I heard was love. But if you give me a moment, I'll say. Okay, so the Tourism Product Development Grant, which is offered through the Department of Economic Development, where I just retired, we created that program about six years ago. A city, a county, or an authority can be the applicant, but not an individual person. And so I'm just sharing with you that there are grant programs, that's just one of many that might exist out there, grants and loans, that can be handled, if you will, by a development authority downtown or otherwise, uh, whereas a private individual cannot do that. Karen mentioned these big white elephant buildings that they have. Many times the DEA can go in and purchase that building if the current property owner is willing to sell it. They can apply for the grants. They can... Well, that wasn't... I didn't hear that. But, uh, well, we may not have mentioned it specifically, but that is an advantage of the DEA. If, for instance, you all have a theater or you had a big depot, or you had, like in Tipton, the Mayan Hotel was 56,000 square feet. A private developer couldn't do that by himself mm -hmm. or herself. So it was a joint partnership between the city and the county, or excuse me, between the city and the developer that did that. But I'm trying to share with you that there are financing opportunities that are available, but many times only, only, by only through a DDA. Right. Okay. And, Okay, the Okay, would someone else like to come up and ask a question? <laughs> Good evening. My name is Janet Fuller. I live at 212 East Lawson.